Hey everybody, this is Mark with Apple Tech Wintoy, and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Air Jacket by Power Support. So, taking a look around the box, you'll see we have our clear case right in the front with a silver iPhone paper backing behind it. At the top, it says Air Jacket for iPhone 5S and 5. And then towards the bottom, it shows the Power Support logo, and it's also telling you that if you are not very tech savvy, it will work on your 1632 and 64 gigabyte models. Even though there's really no difference between the two. And then we just have a little bit of specifications on the back. So opening up this clamshell box, which was designed very nicely, we can find our case right on the top. So let's we'll go ahead and pull that out. So there's our case. We'll come back and take a look at that in a minute. So underneath all of this stuff, we have this little manual. So it shows you how to install your phone and a little bit of warranty and all your information. So let's get back to the case. We just go ahead and pop out our little paper iPhone. So there's that. And let's go ahead and grab our 5S. This one is not mine, but the reason we picked this case up is because it's a clear case. You can see that beautiful goldness. It's very beautiful, as you can see. So there's that. Um, Immediately, the matte back feels really nice on my hand. It's much better than that aluminum, even though aluminum is really nice, but this feels pretty nice as well. The only problem I have right away is these buttons are a little bit hard to push because they're more recessed than the case, so you kind of have to use your nail instead. Um, your mute switch, that works fine. You kind of do have to push your finger a little bit farther in on the lock button, but it is kind of nice that you won't accidentally hit that. On the bottom, we have the exact cutouts for the microphone, speaker, lightning connector, and headphone jack. And one thing that I really like about this case is how thin it is. As you can see right there, it's very, very thin. It's not going to add much bulk at all to your phone while still providing protection. So I think that's really nice and something that you don't get with most cases. The only problem I have is if you see right there, there's not really much of a lip at all on the front of the device. So if you happen to drop it, on its face, or you just like to stick your phone face down, it will likely scratch your screen if you rub it around because there is no lip on the front to protect it and you do not get that lay on the table design. Like I said, this is a matte back, which feels really nice. Um, I, it kind of does feel like it might scratch a little bit, but so far I have not seen anything scratching yet. Also, it's clear, so you will see some dirt and dust under there. But it's really not as bad as the Griffin Reveal case, which I previously reviewed, which was absolutely horrible stuff being stuck under. This one really isn't going to be that much of a problem. Also, like I said earlier, probably my biggest downfall with this case is these buttons. They are hard to push. You kind of have to use your nail to get onto that lock button. It's a little bit easier to push than your volume buttons. Your up and down buttons are absolutely a pain to change. So it's just kind of hard to do it that way. But... I guess really you won't push it by accident and it is kind of good that way but it is hard to push them if you want to. One thing that I find a bit strange is this headphone jack. As you can see there's a little piece missing that is for if you have an L connector which is a nice feature but unfortunately it is kind of sharp on the edges and it goes all the way to the top so you'll probably be scratching yourself a couple times or snagging some things on it and that's just something that I don't quite like, but I do think it is a nice feature that they have that so you can use your L-shaped headphone connectors. Anyway, that's all for this unboxing interview. Overall, I do like this case. Other than those few flaws like the volume buttons and that little sharp piece, this is a really nice case and I would highly recommend it if you want to show off that beautiful color underneath the case. Anyway, that's all for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to leave this video a like. If you have any questions about the case, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Anyway, that's all for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.